again, everyone. Kata Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, here at the very end of September to give another juicy, juicy update of what is happening with softwood lumber and panel prices and the market. Uh, normally at this time of year, as I've said before, things are slowing down for uh, home building, construction activity, large volume lumber buying, as well as with forestry uh, and the lumber production. So that's what's happening right now following Labor Day. And we did have on that benchmark Western Spruce Pine Fir KD 2x4, number two and better item, the price flat at US $520 per thousand board feet for three weeks there. And just now today, printing down by $15. So next week, as industry gets back to work to selling wood, that price will be US $505 per thousand board feet. Some of the other items, uh, uh, Eastern Spruce, Southern Pine, Douglas Fir, and those things, uh, the prices were dropping over these three weeks and are now flattening out. So we've got a moderation happening with the supply demand balance. People will note that uh, several sawmills across British Columbia and in other regions as well did take some downtime and curtailments during the summer and especially now in September when prices were lowering. And this is keeping uh, production in line with demand and hopefully keeping the price relatively even. Where we are right now is uh, I would consider to be the floor. People ask, when is it gonna go back to normal? This is now normal. The cost of production sort of very anecdotally uh, speaking generally, in British Columbia is now $500 per thousand board feet. So we're not gonna see $250, $250 two by fours again. The mills were losing money back then, 10 years ago, when they were selling at that price. And so at this point, that would be, I mean, impossible. That's half the price of what it costs to make. And, and looking forward, there potentially will be softening of prices uh, through the end of this year, which is normal, but we don't know that yet. When we have situations like these terrible weather events, um, wide ranging destruction, both in the east coast of Canada and along the eastern seaboard of the southern United States, that makes it unknown what will be the demand for rebuilding. Uh, one thing to look at that's very helpful for uh, particularly that situation is plywood, as there uh, generally is a rush to order plywood, especially for re-roofing, but also for boarding up windows on the properties where it might take a little while for the actual reconstruction to take place. So let's take a look at the graphs, and I'll explain to you some of these things that are happening right now at the end of September 2022. And so, as I said, uh, for the very end of September, going into October 2022, the price of that benchmark item, WSPF KD 2x4, number two and better, is US $505 per thousand board feet, which is down $15 or 3% from the previous week when it was $520, as it had held for about three weeks. This week's price is down $98 or 16% from one month ago when it was $603. And when compared to the same week last year when it was $540, this week's price is down by $35 or 6%. Compared to two years ago when it was $960, this price is down by 47% or $455. So that's what I'm saying. The change in price compared to two years ago is double what the price used to be for those 10 years from 2006 to 2018. Great, okay, and so just as a, a little bit of a uh, note on a, for us here at Madison's, uh, we are celebrating our 70th anniversary, platinum anniversary. Uh, Madison's was started in uh, the first issue was September 15th, 1952 by Peter Madison. I'm the third owner. So when you see these graphs or this, uh, these tables that show price comparison to historical, we have that data all the way back to 1952. 
that obviously is on hard copy. The Excel files begin in 1980, and we have uh, easily accessible price history for all of the 500 individual softwood lumber and panel items that we track going back to 1980, and then a little bit more difficult to pull out on paper to 1952. So this is where we get you know, the insight, the knowledge base here at Madison's. It's the price history that we can look at comparing to the macroeconomic conditions and the market commentary, which is a very important part of what uh, subscribers to my dashboard need to see, not just what is the price change, but why. And so we talk about things like order files at the sawmill, inventory on the ground and at the mills, uh, log supply, transportation, all of these different things which impact week over week the availability or overabundance of lumber and then the change to the price. Uh, so let's quickly have a look at another graph and I'll explain a little bit more about not just the Western Spruce but some of the other prices as well. And some of the other benchmark items, the yellow line is Southern Yellow Pine on the east side. That price is US $565 per thousand board feet, which is down $30 or 5% from the previous week when it was $595. And it's down $62 or 10% from one month ago when it was $627. And is down... $460 or 45% from two years ago when it was $1,025 per thousand board feet. And then the Eastern Spruce Pine Fir, which is the blue line, that price was US $590 per thousand board feet, which is down $25 or 4% from the previous week when it was $615, is down $43 or 7% from one month ago when it was $633, and is down $415 or 41% from two years ago when it was US $1,005 per thousand board feet. You can see how these prices in relation to each other are changing similarly, whether it's a, a week or so later, but the price changes are quite stable in comparison to each other. And that's because these three items, the top three on this table that you're looking at right now, Western Spruce, Southern Pine, and Eastern Spruce, they all meet the building code and they are interchangeable in terms of end user application. So if one side of the continent tries to raise the price too high, or for example, maybe a large producer, a large volume producer has a sale, the demand will flow between these regions and the product mix, the customers will choose the price that they like for the needs that they have. It is a free market system and these prices are all related to each other and the customer can choose the price that they like at the time. Okay, great. And so I hope everybody finds that as interesting and worthwhile as my subscribers to my dashboard and uh, us here at Madison's do. It's a very interesting industry to be following and um, reporting on every week. The situation now in September is a little bit of a transition seasonally. Um, everybody will remember what happened last year in November in British Columbia and a very northern part of Washington State. V epic, epic flooding and destruction, totally uh, taking out the railways, both railway lines and the highway, the main highway going north-south and then actually leading into Alberta as well. And, uh, and a stoppage at the Port of Vancouver because the railways weren't coming in. So this is what I mean about, we don't necessarily know what's gonna happen uh, coming up this year. If some uh, more big epic uh, weather events or something else happens, it will change what we consider the normal seasonal cycle for prices. But all things being, you know, n not surprising, we should be seeing uh, leveling off now, maybe a little bit more of a drop. Sometimes right at the end of the year, a few customers who are short, who did not order now what they enough for what they need for the end of the year will order in December and there's a bit of a pop in the price it's temporary so we'll have to wait and see but for now that's the situation check back often I've got some more videos coming up immediately